So in the previous video, I explained about a significance level, and I wanted to do a little bit more of that now, okay? So this significance level that is set, and it will be set for you in the question, you're not gonna have to come up with a number yourself. So let's say that there is this 5% significance level that is set, okay? So what we're saying is that if that's 5%, okay, that region there, we refer to that as the uh, critical region, okay? And what we'd be saying is that we set the significance level to a point so that if we collected data that appeared in that significance level, so the percentage that we got was less than that, so it was within that significance level, then we will be saying that that result is significant. That is an extreme result. And so you would have evidence to suggest that the original null hypothesis was incorrect. Okay? Now, what that then also means is that even if you collected uh, enough evidence that got you into that significance region, the null hypothesis could still be correct, okay? Uh, it could still be correct. And so what you have here, if you wanted a definition for the significance level, so the significance level is the probability of incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis, okay? So you've set this significance level up so that you would say that extreme values, we'll call them extreme if they appear in that significance level. And so if you collected that data and you found actually you got, got a significant result and you could reject the null hypothesis, the null hypothesis could still be true so what you've done is you've set a significance level that is the probability of incorrectly rejecting H0 or the probability of rejecting H0 when in fact it is true. 